everybody welcome back to the channel this is your boy big west rages coming to y'all with an with another no money spent episode i believe this is episode 15 and today we got some mt to redeem a lot of mt to redeem i'm gonna tell you what i've been doing in terms of trying to collect cards i actually made a few purchases um uh, yeah, and also, I'm just going to go over the cards, you know, just go over what do I think of the cards and what, you know what I mean, the same old, same old, so let's get into it, y'all, so we're going we're gonna to start with the packs first, and today, they dropped Signature Series 5, right, it's a really good set, in my opinion, now, all of these cards are good, you know what I mean? They got some budget beast. Like, uh, I never use, I, I don't know about this one yet, or this Matt Bonner. I have to pick them up and try them out for a little bit. I'm probably never going to use them. But if you're on an extreme budget, why not? But these cards are a little expensive. I, I tried to buy a one unsigned. He was 5,000 MT, I guess because all the, in, like, um... Uh, the XP, but y'all kind of going crazy. I would have thought these are actually more expensive than the diamonds I bought. But, uh, hey, it is what it is. Uh, Bobby Portis, Karan Butler, Bobby, trash. Don't pick them up unless you collect. Like me, I'm going to pick them up when you get a little cheaper for collector level. Uh, Karan Butler, again, when you get a little cheaper, I'm going to pick them up for collector level. Um, yeah, Spencer Dilwitty. This is a good card. I, I don't know, his jump shot just feels a little slow. It's like a catapult shot. Like, I believe, yeah, it, I mean, he's a really good card. I picked up all three versions for under, like, 3K, 3K and under, while these Amethysts are going for 5K, which is weird. It's really weird. This Julius Randle, look, he got the Laker jersey on, and I was a big fan of Julius Randle before he got traded. You know what I mean? I'm still a fan of, of him. He's been, you know, bad this season, but... It is what it is. Uh, a lot of people go through funks. Like, look at Damian Lillard. He was going through a funk. Steph Curry, he's going through a big funk. They just lost seven at the last end. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, we human. So, I, I just picked them up. I picked up both, both virgins. And I, I got to try them out still. It's Kyle Corver. I only picked up this this one. And I, I, I thought they was going to juice them up a little bit more. It is what it is. He's good if you just want shooting and nothing else. Like, he don't even play good defense. So, I mean, he knows really good. He's 6'10", small for it. Good speed. Boosts his lateral quickness. And and I picked him up for, like, under 10K. Like, 10K. I picked him up for 10K. I didn't pick up the signed one, but I did pick up the unsigned because I feel like it's no difference. Rudy Gay, probably the best small forward in the game. David Robson, probably the best center in the game. And Luca, probably the best point guard in the game. So as you can see, 2K released three top tier cards today. And what did it do to the market? Mm. I mean, Giannis is down a little bit. I don't know how David Robinson is this price. He was going for like 150, 160, 170. I picked up his David Robinson for 110K. It was pretty, uh, I got him for a good deal. Now, the other version don't have quick first step. So, I was like, I got to pick up this version. Even though you're not really going to move in them. So, in the end, I could have just went for the cheaper version. The other one going for like 80K. It is what it is. Sorry, I keep saying it is what it is. Hey, look, this is how I talk. As you can see, some of these cards are really ending quick. You probably get it. Yeah, all these cards are down. Ex yeah, I mean, Cade, you could buy him for a buy now. Giannis, he's getting, oh, oh my God, hold up, hold up, yeah, it crashed, you can, if you know how to bit snipe, bit snipe, yeah, it's time, it's just too many cards in there, now, didn't really affect Kawhi Leonard price, this Luka Doncic, um, and this Luka is really good, his, his release is really, really good, 
Now, I heard he's not that good on current, and I only play current on my team. My team only play current. I don't play next gen. I'm I'm ass at next gen. I'm sorry about that, y'all. And also, I'm trying to. I'm sorry if it seemed like I'm a little. I don't know. Feel like I'm stumbling over my words. I'm just having a bad migraine. I've been having a bad migraine for, for a while now. So, sorry about that too. Trying my best. But yeah, I I mean, at one point this Luca was going for a lot of MC, a lot of MC. I don't know why. People kind of crazy. But I like his card art. Now, does it look? It looked like Luca with a beard. It does, kinda. A little bit. <laughs> Kobe, I think he got a little cheaper. He was going for like 400k. Tracy got a little cheaper. But I ain't no my team. I ain't no my market expert on on cards. Not yet. I can be. But yeah, I just want to compare the two. What's the difference? What's the difference in Hall of Fame badge? Oh, yeah, he get handles for days. Yeah, it's not worth it. I mean, if he's almost the same price, he'll be worth it. Uh, Damn. Yeah, it's time to best snipe, y'all. Try to best snipe. But, yeah, that's just going over the market. So, I'm level 30. I've been... I totally... So, I'm going for the collector level. I am 50 cards away from Carl Malone. And I'm like, damn, I can't buy no more Dynasty. Uh, dynamic rating players, because look, I basically got them all, except for a few that cost too much. And the Bucks, you already know, I sold the Bucks in the last episode, no, like two episodes ago or three. I sold them all. So that's about 45 players that I could have had in the collection. But it's going to eventually, like eventually, You'll be able to get them for cheaper. But remember, this Sydney Moncrief is the exchange for, like, how many bucks players? Like, 10? 10 bucks players, I believe. So, yeah. No point in buying those. Mm. Make sure I go over it. I, I make, I'm just making sure I'm going over everything in this episode. Oh, yeah. See, see, this is this is why my head hurting. I forgot. I need to start writing this down. I've also did something today. Yes, as you can see, I bought. <laughs> I I bought all the event cards for Kian Martin. Now his defense is the same. His lateral quickness. I wish it was a little higher. It's only an eighty-six, but I could bump that up with a plus four lateral quickness to a ninety. So. Powerful wise, mm. Mm. also I played a little draft and I got this contract and a few other things like diamond shoe pack. I'm gonna open it in a few, and as you can see, I totally forgot about these CD uniform uniforms. I forgot because I, I got I need. Let me see. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm at yep, 48 more cards. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm tripping. Okay, right here. As, as you can see, I need 14 more. So that's 14 cards. Plus, uh, I'm not doing that one. That's a little too too rough. I could try to get this DeAndre Jordan, but I never got him. Also, this is about 8 cards I could get here. That counts. So 8 plus... 14, 22, and I've still yet to even complete this, and that's another 5 minus 27, 22 cards, so 22 plus 22, I'll be at 44 cards, so I'm going to get that done over the weekend, and hopefully I will have Carl Malone by Monday, sorry, my breath too, I feel like I'm out of breath. Wasn't even doing anything, but I had COVID in January, and I could definitely tell it messed up my lungs a little bit. So, 
Yeah. XP. Uh, still gotta do the power within. Maybe it's 75. I'm not buying Garnet. But yeah, it's a lot of XP. So there's really no excuses for anybody not to get Ray Allen. Unless you really didn't want Ray Allen this year. Also, this domination. It sucks that you have to play... You have to play 20 domination games. Just to get this DeAndre... You know, this uh, DeAndre Fox. That sucks. Because they could have at least made a 10... Made one, made it one third. You only got to play one third of the domination games, which is fair. That would have been fair. Twenty domination games just seem like it's overkill. So it is what it is. But yeah, I bought. As you can see, I bought David Robinson. And let's open these real quick. Let's let's start off with diamond shoe pack. Probably not gonna get nothing. Bert, useless. Useless. Useless, useless, useless. Diamond contract. I should sell that about 20K. I'll be in the next episode. I'll show y'all how much it sells for the next episode. All these. Di oh, I got another diamond shoe. Wasn't that a diamond shoe pack? Yeah, what a diamond shoe. Well, that sucks. I thought it'd be some diamond shoe boost in there. It is what it is. And I also got. I don't need to open that. And here we go, Kia Martin. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you how much I paid for each one and how much y'all should be paying for this. For real, for real, you, should, you shouldn't spend more than 50k, let's be honest. I mean, I feel like he's worth it. He's definitely going to be replacing Siakam. Siakam got a better three, but of course, K.M. Martin is the better dunker. I mean, they're similar in defense, but K.M. Martin is a better rebounder. And defensively... He's faster, but Siakam got that 90 lateral quickness. And let me look, check Tennessee's. Yep, better Tennessee's. He is definitely starting over. Yeah, so here we go. This is what uh, I sold to Kobe for 99K. I bought it for 100K a couple weeks ago with Quick First Step. He had Hall of Fame Quick First Step, and that was the only badge he had. So that's 89k speed of ball got it from the 100 shoe boost and diamond shoe refill pack acceleration these are all from the diamond shoes we're gonna talk about that year of the goat one okay and this year of the goat I put it up for 24 hours with 18k. Some reason it bought they somebody bought it for 18k. Stupid, I know. But let's see. Here to go. Whoa. No, 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 no. So yeah, this this I, I was telling y'all. You could have bought a couple of these for a thousand, fifteen hundred, and each one of these you could sell for five k and up for some of these. So if you would have listened to me about other no money spent episode when I was doing it, you could have made something tea that way. So let me redeem it. I got a couple more. Yeah, my head is killing me, y'all. I'm sorry. I feel like this is not my best episode. But yeah, I don't want to make it too long, and uh, I, be I believe I went over the packs. I uh, went over my collector level, what I've been doing, and the decent MT. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the drill. But yeah, I'm not going to make it too long. I'm not feeling good. So I'm going to leave it at that, y'all. So thank, thank y'all for coming out to my episode. For anybody that came through the episode, I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all, even if y'all don't like or subscribe. I see people viewing it. 
even if it's only one or two, hey, look, in my heart, I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Thank y'all, and I'm going to see y'all in the next episode, episode 15, and hopefully I feel better. But, yeah, I just want to get this video out there, and, uh, yeah. So, thank y'all for coming out. Have a good rest of y'all day, man. Have a good weekend. Peace out.